while everyone's eyes was at Adobe Max. Something big was happening quietly. A small company made a big move that could change everything for designers. All right, this wasn't just another software launch. This was a declaration. Affinity just declared war on Adobe. All right, so right after Adobe Max ended and everybody was talking about AI, Affinity dropped something massive. They released Affinity 2025 for free, like completely free forever. There ain't no trial, there ain't no limited version, it's just free, which is just wild because it didn't just lower their price, but they changed the game. I mean, well, technically it's free, but the, for the AI tools, you gotta pay, but that's, we talked about that down the road. All right, so this is not a smaller company trying to compete. This is the work from Canva after they acquired Affinity, I think it was last year around March. And I guess they've been cooking. They literally took the same week of Adobe Max and they're like, all right, we ain't paying no more rent for y'all. Creators, no more rent paying for the big corporation of Adobe. Well, technically Canva is a pretty big corporation too. But yeah, they say you are free, no more rent, go out and create. Cause it's still crazy to me that we pay like, well, roughly like a thousand dollars a year to have access to our tools just to make a go and create something. And then just to have Affinity just come in and say like, no creators, no more paying rent. I'm the new now. I'm the new landlord here. <laughs> go create for free. Go have fun. And they've been pretty clear about it. They have in their marketing like it's free forever. And at first, I was like, all right, listen, nothing in life is just free, especially in business. So I'm, I thought they were going to be, you know, taking our designs and training some AI models or something. But apparently, like they're not doing that. There's no AI model trading. There's no hidden fee or something. It's just free forever. But because that caveat that, you know, if you want the AI tools, that's, you got to pay for that. And it's obvious who they're talking to. They're talking to designers. It's talking to people like us, which is higher of paying for subscription. Like every day subscription and you don't own nothing. You know, like back in the day, you buy Creative Cloud, not even Creative Cloud, it's called what? Adobe CS, I started in CS3. I started in CS3, yeah, and I remember. I just paid once. I had the educational, um, educational, software because I was in school and I bought it. It was like like 300 bucks and then I got it, you know, because I have multiple description. I have my Adobe subscription. I have artless subscription. So I have some cool music and sound effects in my videos. And I'm pretty sure I have other subscriptions that I can't think of the top of my head. That's how bad the subscription model has been so far. Hopefully I'm not paying a subscription model right now and I'm not even using it. That's like the worst. All right, so enough talking. Let's go hop on the computer and check this thing out, all right? All right, new here at desktop, checking out uh, the new Affinity. Right now, I should want Affinity. Affinity. <laughs> right now, I should want to check out the UI and things like that. See if you get your welcome. Get your reasons, your learn templates. I don't have any templates in your favorites. Let's make like a new doc. When I was playing with this earlier, I noticed if you work it in RGB, they had a little symbol over here in the corner. It shows your RGB colors. And if you're using the CNYK in the, in the corner, you have your CNYK. I think that's pretty cool. A little, you know, UI detail that you can visually see what color space you're working with. You know, especially, man, we designers, man. We are we are visual people. Man. I'd rather see something when I'm working in than just have text. So that was pretty cool. So I'm to open up this file of working earlier because I forgot I had to record on my camera and I was like talking to myself. It was awkward. <laughs> All right. So this is a workspace and what's cool about Affinity Designer, Affinity now, that they basically united all the apps into one. So you look up here right now in the vector workspace, we have pixels. So vector is your illustrator, a pixel would be a Photoshop and layout would be your InDesign. And you know, okay, quick. Why do you young guns don't like InDesign? I love InDesign. I mean, I, if you, once you master it, it's really powerful. It's just like, take the time, learn in design. It's, it's really good, a really powerful tool. But anyways, I'm gonna focus on the vector side because I'm curious if this is, if this is as good as Illustrator. I'm thinking this entire paint subscription, can I completely cut myself off from Adobe and just focus on, I focus on, but no longer pay subscription. And the only subscription I still be paying would be Premiere Pro for my editing, but then I will have to, switch to DaVinci. I think DaVinci is like a one-time payment, oh, but then I gotta learn DaVinci and I'm like, oh, I don't wanna learn a whole new program, but it could be worth it to finally cut off from Adobe. But anyways, let's walk through this before I, I digress because, you know, I ramble. Let's see, let me see, we got this tool, what is this tool called? Oh, artboard. Oh, so let me say, you add more artboards. 
Huh, that's cool. Got okay, more arm bars. That's nice. I like this. This is pretty cool. This, yeah, this this is nice. I like that. Oh, you have, you have a little plus icon. You press it. Boom, new arm board. I like that. that that's, that's nice. All right, let's see what else we got. Let's see. We got our node tool. So I'm guessing you can manipulate the nodes. What else we got here? What this tool is? This is corner tool. Round, round shape corners select. Okay, so I'm guessing this is like the direct selection, direct the direct selection tool and the selection tool. I think that's how it works, right? It sounds that's why it sounds to me. Move to the direction tool. All right, do we got like this shape builder tool or something? I think I have to be like a shape builder tool here, right? Let's play with a pen tool. Yep. First, like a pen tool. All right, let me try that node tool. What it does. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's cool. Okay. That's it. I'm curious. Now I really want to design like a logo or something with this. All right, all right, all right. This is actually pretty cool. It's pretty dope. Kind of hard to make this demo and then hold on back at the same time. Something that I thought was pretty cool because since this is all three apps into one, you could design your vector art, go to the pixel, to the pixel section, right? And you could probably add like raster um, effects to your vector illustration or logos because it's only one workspace. Like I know I've done enough for you now because I really just sit down and give it a good, give it some good time to, to learn all these tools because I had never used Affinity, Affinity before. So yeah, this will, this will take me some time, but I'm really curious. I'm going, I'm going to do that video, doing that challenge. I'll probably do another challenge like 30 days, which is using Affinity Designer of oh, Affinity. Affinity. Affinity? I can never pronounce it right, but anyways. Let's see. All right, let's, I want to see. Okay, right now we need the pixel. In the pixel workspace, we got your red toggle marquees. Yeah. Right now, honestly, for performance, man, it's pretty smooth. I don't see like going really fast. So but I'm really curious to, to really start using this thing. Oh, okay, it's your tools. All right, right. Okay. Do we have like a shape, a shape builder type tool? Because I use Shape Builder a lot in Illustrator for low design. Let's see. You got your text. Shape Builder tool. Look at that. Oh, they got Shape Builder tool. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. I'm so mad with Shape. I love Shape Builder tool. I love this tool. I use this so much in Illustrator for my logo designs. Oh, this is awesome. Let me go undo. So the same thing if you hold like Alt and subtract. Ah, oh, man. I'm, I'm sold. Hey, Affinity just sold me with this, with this, with this one tool. <laughs> they have Shape Builder tool. I'm sold. I'm ready to switch right now. Goodbye Adobe, I ain't paying no more subscription. They have sold me with this tool. All right, I wanna, do they have um, like a trace, a live trace? Hold on, let me see if I can find, let me see if I can find like an old file. And what is over here? I want you guys to see my files. Uh, like an old logo sketch or something. I'm gonna have like an old sketch of a logo somewhere right here. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Come on, I know I have like a sketch of something around here. There we go, I found one. I found, I found a sketch. All right, look at this. Nice little sketch. All right, I want to see, if you if you guys see my video on how to buy my brand new process, you, you recognize this, this little sketch, all this little guy right here. Do they have like a live trace? I'm curious, I'm just curious. I want to see if they have like a, like a image trace tool around here. Let's see, a tone liquefy. Let's see. Mm, replace image. Oh no, it's not it. Do they have a live trace tool? Place to place the image and knock on your page. Dimension, crop, measure. I don't see it. Let's check this vector one right here. Mm. Image trace. Ooh, we got image trace. All right, I'm curious how good is image trace because lately, uh, Illustrator image trace is getting pretty, pretty good. I'm pretty impressed of the updates they've done to it. Let's see, let's see what it has. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, well, they got live sliders. Wait, let me zoom in. Hold up, hold up. What is this? Did it vector? It did vectorize it. That's weird. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. But can you make it like, hold up, let me go undo. I'll do it again. Do it again, because that just, that caught me off guard. All right. So you go to vector, image trace. So it looks like it just takes the raster and just, it just vectorize it, but I don't see, let's see, split view. Oop. All right, so the image trace is not as, I guess, detailed as in Illustrator because there is an Illustrator one, they have options like the logo sketch or black and white sketch. This seems just like some sliders, which is like the edge and the, and the curve fitting tolerance. So it's not as robust as Illustrator, but hey, you know, image trace is there. So 
I guess I, if I were to use this, I want to have to make sure that it's a clean sketch just with outlines and, and that's it. But it's here. Hopefully in the future, make some updates and make it with more options, like a drop down menu. Like, hey, I want this sketch to be like a, a logo sketch. I want it to be a black and white, or low fidelity, high fidelity, like they have in Illustrator. So that was, I hope they continue working on this too and make it somewhat similar to Illustrator, even better. You know what Affinity really represents? This is a mind shift. This is not just software, man. This is a statement. I feel like they're saying that creativity shouldn't be behind a paywall. And we should see how polished this release is. I mean, there were some kind of bugs for me here and there, but it runs smooth. It's pretty fast. Um, it's kind of hard to argue. Like, I'm glad that they have the shape of the tool. The image trace, I hope they update that and make it with more more robust, more like more options, like a drop down menu, like I said earlier. I spent over a decade designing logos. I seen lots of tools come and go, but this this feels different. This feels like real like competition that had they that Affinity is giving Adobe. All right, listen, Adobe have been untouchable for years, but now there's finally real competition knocking at Adobe's door. All right, that actually blew me away. The tools feel great. It's responsive and I don't feel like I'm missing anything major except, you know, I wish the image trace was more robust. Um, I'm definitely going to play around with this more. I want to test every tool out. I want to see how each workspace works together. You know, like how the, the, the software could recognize when I'm in, when I have a vector, then take that vector and put it in the pixel workspace. I want to see how that works. So I'm definitely going to make that video, which I'm going to design an entire brand entity using uh, Affinity. But honestly, after the day, I see a path when I can be completely subscription free. I will have Affinity to cover all my design needs. And I guess uh, I really will have to switch to DaVinci. I know I know a lot of people out there love DaVinci. Like, I, I want to give it a try. I just don't feel like learning on your own new software now. I could actually walk away from Adobe completely. No more paying rent for creativity. Damn, that sounds nice. What we're seeing right now is bigger than just new software. This feels like a beginning of a creative shift. For over a decade, Adobe has owned the creative space. It's been the industry gold standard, the gatekeeper, and for most of us, the only option. But now something is changing. Affinity just proved you don't need a massive subscription model or a multi-billion dollar company to empower creators. Affinity launched an entire creative suite one day after Adobe Max. And that wasn't by accident, that was a statement. For years, we've been renting our creativity, paying month after month for tools that we already mastered. But with Affinity, that could finally end. Listen, Adobe is betting on AI. Affinity, they betting on creators. It's for the first time in a long time, it feels like we finally have a choice.